Hey, it's Nathan with CareerZoneMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your sending domain within your active campaign account. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here I am in my account and I wanna come down here to settings. So we'll click on settings and then go to the advanced options right here. And then we have two options right here for our sending domain. We can go ahead and click on this configure domain option and it will automatically configure the domain settings for us by updating our DNS settings and all that type of stuff. So you click on this option, you plug in your domain and click on continue. And it's gonna let you know that Active Campaign will securely and easily connect to your DNS settings so it can go ahead and update stuff. So we'll go ahead and click on continue and it's gonna figure out where your DNS settings are and it'll identify them. And then it'll ask you for your login information and then it'll go in there and it will adjust the settings on your account. And also you can see what records will be added so you can get an idea of what the heck they're gonna be doing in your account. So they're gonna be adding four records right here. So that way you know what to expect. And this automated method is very easy to use. And I definitely recommend doing it if it's available to you. However, in this video, I wanna go ahead and do it manually. So that way you can see how to do it manually in case the automatic method doesn't work or you have some other issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on set up manually and I have to plug in my domain again and click on continue. And I need to go ahead and enter my email address right here that they'll send a verification email to. So I'll click on continue there and they're gonna send me an email with instructions or I can go ahead and do set up DNS records right here. And so this is the information that I need to go ahead and update. So I need to go ahead and create three C names right here. So I'm gonna go into my site tools and I'm using SiteGround, but the concept will remain the same no matter what provider you're using. You need to get to the area where you can edit your DNS zones so that we can add the C name. So I'm gonna come up here to C name, create new record and C name. And then I just follow the information that Active Campaign provides. So I have my name right here. So I'll just copy that, come back over here, paste it in there, come back over, copy the value and paste it in there. And then I'll go ahead and click on create and back. And I'll create the next one. Let me move these pages together. So C name, throw my name in there, throw my value create my value, create, and back, and then I'll create the third one now. So copy this, and copy the value, and throw it in there, and hit create. So a quick side note, Active Campaign might make you make four records, as you can see right here on this screen. So you might have one to create a DMARC record, and this is a TXT record. So it's slightly different than the CNAME records, but it should be easy to change. So I'm gonna come back over to Site Tools real quick, and I'll click on Back. And at the top here, I just wanna make sure that I'm on the TXT record. So I'll select TXT, and then I can go ahead and copy this info for the name, and then also this value right here for the value. So we'll copy that, paste it in there, and hit create. And so that's all there is to it. I just wanted to point that out. If Active Campaign wants you to add four records, that's how you go ahead and add a TXT record as well. And then I'm gonna come back over here and click on check DNS. And I received an error, and that's because sometimes it can take upwards of 24 to 48 hours for these DNS settings to propagate across the internet. So if you receive an error, don't panic and start changing a whole bunch of stuff. Just give it a little bit of time and try it again. And if a day or two passes and you're still receiving errors, well then something is wrong and you should come in here and delete stuff out and try it again. But I'm gonna go ahead and click check DNS again real quick. And I happen to go through and I'm now authenticated right here, but I still need to go ahead and verify my domain. So I need to go check my email account real quick. And so here I am in my email account and you may notice that this email went into my junk folder. So if you don't see your verification email, definitely check your junk or spam folder. But let's go ahead and open this up and then I'll go ahead and click on verify. And there we go, my domain is now authenticated and verified. And with that, Active Campaign is able to send emails from my domain right here. And that's all I need to do in order to set up my sending domain. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and or check out crazyoutmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.